Okay, so you have to bear with me as my Adobe subscription has lapsed and I did everything in this uh, Google spreadsheet. So I just decided to use a Google spreadsheet for everything. This is going to be the preliminary video of my initial findings for doing the one to 60 killing only boars challenge in hardcore classic. Wow. I know that it was done previously in classic. Wow. I know classic wins did a video. I don't know if he actually did it. Um, but I've been doing some research on what it would take just to kill boars to get to level 60. And I frameworked a challenge and kind of how I want to do it. And I'm just going to go over it in this video uh, real quick today, just to put it out there so that when I start doing it, I have something to link people to with the big explanations and stuff. So this is that. Um, so I have some preliminary rules. It'd be kind of hard to read, but I'll, I'll read them out loud for you. Rule number one, most important, can only kill boars. Critters don't count towards kill count. They could potentially get killed in AOE and stuff. They got like four hit points. Um, only killing blows on boars. If you engage something else, stun it, run away from it, whatever, fear it, whatever, but you can't kill it. I think this will be, I, I had a few screw ups in retail and that's just because retail damage numbers are crazy. I think it will be very difficult to accidentally kill something that isn't a boar in classic, especially in hardcore where if I die, it's over. I'll be a lot more careful about what I'm pulling in the first place. Uh, rule number two, uh, I can get experience from any method as long as I'm following a rule number one. So that means like um, exploration XP is on the table, like gathering quest XP is on the table, profession quest XP is on the table. There, There's a big reason for that. Most of it is we'll get into some of the challenges of the challenge, but I figured leaving experience open for everything else kind of helps me out a little bit considering. Rule number three, uh, no gear restrictions. I can use the auction house. I can't be given any items. And anytime I take a portal, I have to tip at least a gold. So, you know, that's just whatever. I'm just putting that out there. I don't want anybody to show up and just give me, you know, uh, some crazy enchanted weapon that it's going to make it a cakewalk for me or whatever. Um, but I don't want to limit myself because I know I'm going to have to use kind of every tool at my disposal here. Uh, rule number four, no grouping restrictions. I can group if I need to or if I want to. If I'm in a group and somebody kills something that isn't a boar, I lose the challenge. Ish. Let me go back on that because there's a particular situation where I'll need to be in a group for somebody to kill not boars, but I'm just saying like if I'm in the open world or whatever, I probably won't be grouping. Just to, I don't want to get trolled or whatever, but I can group as long as we're just killing boars together. Um, rule number one, two, three, four, five. If I die, go again. Rule number six. If I kill not a boar, go again. So those are the rules. Pretty basic stuff. Kill boars, get money. Um, I have made a little spreadsheet here with all of the boar mobs in the game, their level range, where they can be found. And if there's any notes, um, this will get filled out some more as we're doing stuff, just, you know, personal notes and stuff. Um, there is a boar I saw in a classic wins video. There are boars in Razorfin Downs, but they're undead. I'm on the fence about how I'm going to do that. Technically they're boars. I'm not killing quill boars. Unlike the Dr. Five video, I'm not killing quill boars at all. It's just the little boar models. So technically the undead boars will count because they're boars, but it's up in the air. Anyway, so if you look at this level range thing here, um, you'll see that uh, levels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then it jumps... Uh, to 22, 22 to 26. And not only is it a five level jump here between um, belly grub, well, 24 belly grub, which is a rare, so it doesn't matter. Or not a rare, but a long spawn. It jumps to five levels up and they're elite mobs inside of a dungeon. So Razorfin Crawl is difficult in classic regardless for doing the board challenge. In hardcore, with the limitation of only one dungeon lockout, Per, I believe it's 24 hours. I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure it's 24 hours. Um, that means that I'll only get to kill these tamed battle boars, agamars, raging agamars, and rotting agamars once a day. This is where I'm going to have somebody group with me, almost certainly, clear out everything that isn't a boar. Then I will go in and kill the boars solo. Um, there will be elites, so that'll be hard, but whatever. I'll kill the boars. 
And that's it for the day. That's all the poor killing that I can really do because I will have out leveled everything in this range. So that's, that's a problem that we're going to have to look forward to. Um, after that, we jump ahead in difficulty because I will be level 33 ish by the time I leave Razor Fen Crawl. And the next jump in difficulty becomes Ash Main Boars at 48, 49 in Blasted Lands. So that's a 10, 10 level jump ish, 15 level jump, which we'll talk about. And then from there, you know, it's pretty straightforward. We move on to Eastern Plague Lands, um, kill Plague Swine. So I was trying to, I found this, this handy dandy little chart here that will track. That's fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate that. Handy little chart that will track, um, mob level and, you know, the experience that you get at scales. So, um, basically from the open world grind at the beginning, like the, the highest level that I can get in the first like chunk of the quest is 24. That's just from traveling around, killing boars. Um, and then at level 24, I will no longer get experience from the Elder Mountain Boars or Great Gore Tusks. And then I need to go target farm Belly Grub um, to level 32. So that's eight levels of killing a five to 10, 15 minute respawn mob, one mob over and over and over. I think with layering, it might be a little bit easier. I don't really know how layering works, but I think it'll be easier. Um, and then once we get to level 32, we can jump into RFK, but that's again, the 24 hour lockout. So basically um, I'll need to make some buddies who don't mind going in and clearing out a dungeon in hardcore, which was probably going to be difficult. I also don't know yet if the mobs that they clear will reset. So like if they clear the mobs and then I run in to kill the boars, if I'm not fast enough, will those mobs reset on a dungeon lockout? I don't think so, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, the only good thing about RFK is that um, the elite boars will give like 200, 200 to 250% more experience per kill. So uh, according to Classic Wins video, I only have to do that 40 times, which is 40 days, which is over a month of login, do RFK, log out. There are some other things for experience we can do, but that's that part's going to suck if we don't find a, a good way around it. Um, and then, like I said, I'm looking into the withered battle boars in RFD, um, 5,000 of those, those guys, but those also require somebody to go in, kill the quill boar without killing the boars. And then I go in and kill all the boars. So a lot of, uh, logistics up in the air sort of deals there. Um, I did, um, some math on the ash main boars because i'll be level 36 and they start at level 48 so i'm gonna get crushing blowed at level 36 105 percent of the time and that will drop down to an acceptable level at level 42 really at 43 because then i anything under 50 percent is acceptable to me so at 43 it's uh 35 from the level 48s and 45 percent from the level 49 so i'll take my lumps there um, but it doesn't get safe until like level 45, 46 when I, they're at level. So that, in and so after 40 days and 40 nights of killing one dungeon's worth of, of mobs and that, that 40 days is to level 33. I plan on killing them till 36. So we'll see. But after that, then I get to go through essentially a gauntlet of crushing blows. And not to mention, I tried to do the math on mischance. Where, where did I do my mischance here? Um, I don't think this is correct. I don't, I, it's either 13 or 27% chance to miss a level 48 mob at level 36. So if you think about that, it's one in 10 to one in four chance to miss on top of the fact that it's crushing, blowing me with every single hit. So like, it's going to be intense. So like, I have to, I have to mentally make it through the 40 days and then physically make it through the next, however long it's going to take me to not die to those guys. Lots of fun. Um, where were we? We were here. So yeah, that's the, that's the plan. And this way I can kind of tell, I mean, you can tell when you look at the mob, what it's going to give you, but I can kind of plan on, okay, well, 
if these mobs are only level, they only go up to level 17, then, you know, at level 24, I get experience from mobs six levels under. I can't kill that level 17 mob anymore. I get no experience. So it's just, that's there for me to plan on that. Um, here is the route. I, I, I planned out routes, right? Let me scooch this over. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Um, so of the boars that exist, there are four main routes you can take. Um, the horde route, which is killing boars in Duratar, then going to Mulgore to kill boars, then going back to Duratar to kill boars, and then going to uh, Westfall or Red Ridge, but probably just Westfall. And then finally to Red Ridge in order to do the belly grub grind. Um, I don't think the horde is gonna work as much as you know uh, it would be cool to be in Kalimdor. I don't think that, I don't trust myself to not die to guards on accident. Uh, I've seen a lot of people die to guards and they thought they were outranging like the guard aggro and it, it just didn't work. Plus, I don't think that belly the belly grub grind, it's way too close to the actual town. I will almost certainly die. Plus I'll be in the way of a lot of Alliance characters and I don't wanna piss people off. So I think hordes out, but it's possible. Um, the human route, uh, starting in Elwyn Forest and staying there for 14 levels and then going to Westfall and then going to Red Ridge. Um, the boars in Elwyn start at like level five, I think. So realistically, I'm going to be doing some um, like quest experience in Elwyn and Stormwind to get to like level two or three, maybe, and then go start the boars. I could start the boars at level one, but it would be unnecessarily difficult. So humans probably out. Um, the night elf route is insanity. So you start in, uh, Teldrassil, you start killing the boars. You do have, I mean, there's, they're going to be green for a while, but you can get to level seven and then you've got to do, you got to go to dark shore and then do the, the Harbor run to get to probably Dunmoro. You could go to Elwyn if you wanted to like run even farther, but, um, yeah, probably just go to Dunmoro to do boars and then, in, you know, then to Westfall and so on and so forth. Um, I don't think I would survive the run. Plus the intro, like that first like 10 levels or whatever is going to be super grindy and there's enough grind. I don't think Night Elf's the way to go. Um, we'll look at classes. There's a very small chance we pick Druid, but I don't think Night Elf is the way to go either, which leaves us with Dwarf. Um... When I did the retail one, I did Dwarf for the same reason. Plenty of boars in Dunmoro, plenty of boars in Loch Madan, and then it's an easy jaunt over to Westfall if you get bored in Loch Madan to do. But you could potentially um, stay in these two zones all the way up to the belly grub grind if you wanted to. You don't have to, but if you wanted to, it's all right there. Um, and then once, so once you get through, you know, your starting route you hit the crawl which is you, you know heading over to Kalimdor and then doing your best um i think it's going to be the most difficult part of this is going to be obviously finding somebody who will reliably clear it for you every day and then making sure you clear it every day because missing a day is obviously really bad um once you've made it to like 36 or whatever you jump over to blasted lands um, I call it Grunter and Friends is the step because it's just the Ashman boars and then occasionally maybe a Grunter. Um, but Grunter's level 50, so like good luck. Um, I might, tr like I said, I got to plug in the research on the undead boars, but it's 36. You can go all the way to 60 there if you want. Um, or at 51, you could jump up to Eastern Plaguelands. I think Eastern Pla Plaguelands is a bad idea just because of mob density and like. Um, I mean, Blasted Lands probably isn't a ton better, but in either case, you run the risk of dying or, you know, um, just having to initiate fights, kill the boar, and then run away from whatever else you uh, pulled. So, and then most of these numbers, if you look at these numbers, put a little note down here, they're not necessarily like the absolute lowest to the absolute highest levels that you could go. I was just sort of generalizing kind of where my more my head would be at at what level i would want to move forward because at that point the experience gain is negligible um but if you jump ahead too quick you risk the chance of dying and die one time and 
it's GG. So um, I did some pros and cons on classes. Um, I haven't really like seriously investigated this, but I went into the talent calculator, bumped up to 31, which is when we would start the crawl, the crawl. Um, and just to kind of get a feel for like what the pros and cons of each class would be. Um, I'm a big fan of, uh, oh shit buttons, like combat reset buttons. So like feign, your feign death, your bubbles, lay on hands, vanish. Um, very important because if you're fighting a boar and three other mobs and you get done with the boar and you're at 30% health, are you going to escape or are you going to die? Um, one big thing with a grind like this is, uh, being able to stay like on, on point, on task, on target after 13,000 boars, it gets kind of hard to like focus and it's, it's really easy to die. Um, so having that panic button built into the class is important. Um, also your pet classes are super good. So warlock or hunter is probably going to be the option. Um, I like both of those also for their ability to scout. So you have, you know, eyes of the beast, eagle eye, you have uh, beast tracking or any kind of tracking to kind of, if you beast track and find a boar, then you can, you know, humanoid or undead or whatever track to see what's around it before you go looking for it. Um, warlocks have eye of Kilrog, I think, which is a little less good in that sense, but it's still useful. Um, hunters have move speed. Move speed's important too. Druids have that. Hunters have that. Mages have teleports, which is, you know, um, something. Um, rogues have situational mobility. Uh, shamans have some decent mobility, but they're horde only, so it's probably a no. Um, priest is like a... If, if hunter and warlock are tied for first right now, priest is like a surprising second. Uh, just because I think the Hots, Dots, and Wand Spec are useful, uh, and Psychic Scream. Psychic Scream is maybe, maybe the best oh shit button in that pop it and, you know, bolt. Um, however, Psychic Scream, Fear, Feign Death, and even Vanish, when you're fighting those Ashbane boars that are like 15 levels higher than you, there's a good chance it's all going to get resisted, so it doesn't matter anyway. Um, and then over here I have Warrior. Um, I have is a warrior on the con like twice because it's a warrior, but I, th I think warriors can probably not at 15 levels, but like warriors can mitigate the crushing blow chance earlier than anybody else, except for maybe paladins. Is that a big deal? I don't know. I don't think so. I still think a pet class is probably the way to go, but you know, it's just a uh, stuff I'm looking into. Um, and then I have, yeah, I have to fill this out more with information about the crawl. I have to find some people who I can trust who will do it in hardcore classic, which is going to be hard because I don't really know anybody. Um, I'm keeping track of like some quests that I can do that will give me experience. Um, exploration XP is pretty good, but it's level based. So I have to plan out how I'm going to do that. Like at what point in the journey I'm going to stop and go exploring. Um, and then a lot of your like collection quests can still be done. You know, it might be bring me five pieces of boar meat, but you can go buy that boar meat from the auction house and be able to just do the quest that way to get experience. So keep in track of some YouTube videos. If you have any, you know, link them to me in the comments, tweet them at me or whatever. It's just stuff I can watch for information. And then, um, like I said, I'll plan out the exploration experience here. So that's, that's where I'm at with this right now. Um, I think it's, you know, it's something to do. I think it'll be really interesting to see where the pain points are. I'm sure there are going to be surprises along the way that I'm not planning for, but I've still got some planning to do yet. Um, I've got some stuff built into the little streams that we're going to do while we're grinding that I think will be fun for everybody. And um, yeah, it'll be good to get back killing some boars. So this is uh, what I've got right now as far as this challenge goes. I'm going to, like I said, work on this spreadsheet um, more in depth and hopefully have a presentable link to tag into my videos as I start posting them. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that uh, you think I might have missed or, um, you know, words of encouragement, feel free to comment them in the video below and I will touch base on them when I do the update. 
Thanks for watching.